And this is it. This is the very car that got me interested in Mercedes. A very poor example of a 114, complete with ridiculous amounts of rust in every single panel of the car. Not just the floor, it was in the roof, in the boot, in the engine bay, in the firewall, you name it, it was rusty. I did buy it with the intention of giving it a paint job and making it look more presentable. This is the stage it was at when I discovered the ridiculous amounts of rust and decided to call it quits. It wasn't just the rust that kind of uh, turned me off this car, it was the numerous used syringes that I found underneath the carpet as well. I don't know what the hell they were doing in this car, but it's obviously not appropriate. It was in the process of pulling this car apart, uh, particularly the rear end, that made me discover how much better it was than my 90s Ford that you can see bits of in this video. That's what started the long journey into German vehicles for me. In the unlikely event that anyone's actually interested, this was the Australian made car that I had at the time, that I was comparing my 114 to. Um, yes, it's built in 1996, this video was taken around year 2000, uh, but they still had a live axle rear end, and this was fitted with the um, Windsor 302 V8, made in the USA. Uh, wasn't a particularly exciting car to drive, it was kind of an old man's car, but that's what I was into at the time. I just wanted a comfortable cruiser to get around in, nothing too sporty, because that's exactly what this isn't. <laughs> 